going on YouTube, Roman Mollo here, here all to give you my review for Spectre. Spectre is the latest James Bond movie, which is bringing back director Sam Mendes from Skyfall, Daniel Craig from the previous three movies that, you know, he's done, and my goodness, this movie is absolutely shot well. I loved it. The cinematographer was gorgeous. That is like one of the best parts of this film also, is just the look of it, from the action sequences to just, you know, you know, conversations with one actor to the other. Everybody behind this movie just did a phenomenal job grab getting the perfect, you know, setting, the perfect tone, the perfect lighting of this movie. The action sequences do not get the recognition it deserves. They are some of the most awesome ones I've seen all year. Besides probably Rogue Nation, these were stellar. From the beginning in Mexico, oh my god, that one shot where he's just, I just don't want to say in case someone hasn't seen this movie, to like the ending of the movie that made the movie that much more better. The action sequences in this movie were just phenomenal. I absolutely loved them. Daniel Craig is great as James Bond. This is the fourth movie. He has been the consistent of all these movies, whether the movies were great, good, or bad. He is good as always. Really, there is nothing bad to say about this man. I was invested in the story enough, you know, to get through it. Every character did their thing. Uh, everybody worked with what they were given, and they did a phenomenal job. I, you know, the story maybe wasn't the best, but it kept me intrigued throughout the whole movie because everybody did their part. Crystal Waltz is a great villain. I'm glad that he was finally used in a good movie again. You know, outside the Tarantino films, I just wish I would see more of him. I would love to see more just of who he is. He had a great introduction, just like Javier Bardem, hit, Bardem had in Skyfall. Crystal Waltz's introduction was perfect, also with Spectre. I just like to see more of him in the movie. Even though I enjoyed the film, I thought it was a little bit, you know, here and there, you know. I feel like the story could have been more, you know, condensed, but still, I understood everything, and really, it was believable. I just think, you know, maybe we could have trimmed a little bit of, you know, what we were going with. I feel like it didn't overstay its welcome, but it was taking just a little bit more of its time. And really, yes, you could have, you know, clean, clean up, polish the story here and there. It could have been even a better movie than what it was already. I had fun with this movie. I didn't think it was probably as sophisticated as Casino Royale or Skyfall, but you know what? That doesn't mean it's a bad movie. Really, I had a blast. This is a movie I love to see still in the theater. It's worth getting that tub of popcorn you like, shoving it down your mouth, and just enjoy the spectacular that it's James Bond now. It's crazy how each movie has, you know, gotten bigger than the last one now. Like, these movies are becoming very, an event, as big as anything. I'm not saying it never was, but is as big as Star Wars. It's, you know, the only thing that's missing now is an after credit scene, like, from Marvel, but it is, you know, a franchise that is bigger than ever. If you're a Bond fan, wh what am I to stop you? Go watch this movie. You're gonna have a blast, or you're gonna hate it, but you, if you're a diehard Bar Bond fan, you should check this movie out yourself. You know, you might get a kick out of it, the grading I would have to give this movie is a B plus. I think, you know, with a little bit more tying up with like the script and then, you know, just cutting back a little bit, getting more of that villain could have been a more perfect movie because it's there. You know, same director Skyfall, I can see it. I just felt like, you know, he was let the whole crew was let more loose in this movie, you know. Skyfall maybe, you know they were kinda like contained and Inspector Day went all out, did what they could. Clearly, you know, it's like the other half of Skyfall. Skyfall was more serious, this one was more action packed. But both of them felt like, you know, they're they're like side by side movies. Just yeah, Skyfall might have been a little bit better, but I love Spectre. Spectre still was a good time at the movies. If you've seen it, let me know in the comments. And opinions of voice, I'd like to hear in the comments below. Last smile repeat, guys. Peace.